All right, guys, post show. How do you boys feel? Let's start with Kyle first. Good, man. Just this is unexpected. Two days out, we're just doing the final pump up, and Kyle's gonna start carving up today. Yoan is gonna keep it on low, zero carbs to deplete slightly more. Next time they're gonna be doing it, they'll be on stage. <laughs> Hi guys, show day has arrived and we are now at the venue. The boys are getting their second layer of tan before we do the pump up, before we step on stage. Currently it's around 11.30. We've got about two hours, so they've got about one more meal before we step on stage. Extremely exciting time. The time is here, the time is now. So let's just go through a few more rounds of posing to ensure that you know we nail down on every single small bit of detail. The routine, the, the quarter turns, everything up both, you know, they're all on point it's just about making sure that they're coming in and they're peaking at the at the right levels come on you and let's go good abs abs beautiful yep nice perfect yep I'm feeling sexy, bro. Alright guys, we are here with the current reigning 2023 champion, current beach body champion. Here with Ali, the 2020 and 2021 champion. He is known for his posing. And from last year to this year, have you done anything differently or is there anything that you know, made a difference? Because obviously your physique now, I've seen it through the Pure Elite page, looks phenomenal, more size, more condition. What have you done over the last year? Uh, that's just Instagram filters. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, I just had a, a real, as soon as I stepped off stage, um, I literally went straight into an off season. I really treated this off season like a prep. That has been the real difference this year. Just really just dialed in, treated it like a prep. But we are actually up five kilos since that. So stage put, weight. Stage weight, five kilos gained this year, so. Let's see if that's five kilos of muscle, but um, I'm pretty confident. I'm definitely bringing, like you say, more condition, more size this year. So hopefully it'll be enough. What have you done differently this year? And why do you think your physique stands out more? Because I've been focusing on chasing myself, you know, and the difference is prior to winning last year, you're always trying to chase someone else, aren't you really? Uh, who the previous champion was and the previous champion was me last year. So this year, slow and steady, making sure everything's ticked off. It has six month prep this year, over 20 kilo loss. Um, this focus was making sure I bring back a better package than previously um, and up my game by making sure that I don't change my posing and just refine what needs to be done. Same but better, essentially. Exactly. Ali, what have you done differently this year? And, and you know, what do you think makes you better than you were in 2020 and 2021? Losing. I had to lose to realise what I needed to kind of work on. I think if you have a, a period of, you know, consistently winning, you almost forget yourself, you forget the basics, you forget the type of work that an amateur would have done. And, you know, having lost the last couple of shows, took me back to the drawing board and made me go, right, I'm not top of the tree. I need to work on certain things. I need to practise my posing all over again. So to be fair, what I've done is spent yeah. countless amount of time doing the basics, making sure I've got that right, working my angles, holding my positions the way you would teach an amateur. So yeah. Game day is here. So we've got about an hour left before Kyle, Johan, step on stage. How are you guys feeling? Good. Pumped up. Strong. Now it's time to just rest, relax, put your legs up and just get into the zone. Nothing crazy now. No crazy changes in terms of peak week dieting. We've done, you know, multiple carb ups, multiple peak weeks, uh, mock peak weeks, just to know exactly how much carbs we need or how much more we need to deplete. The work's essentially done. It's time to just present the best package. We've done the routine at least 100 over times now. 
So it's time to just practice and not practice, but perform on stage like how we've been doing it in our bedrooms, in muscle works, in blockhouse, in posing anywhere and everywhere. So let's go. Perfect. Nice. Good. Nice. Good. Hey, careful, careful. Seven, eleven. Two, one. Good. Love, honey. Put six. Nice. Perfect. Nice. Side. Nice. Quarter turns. Let's go. Quarter turn to the right. Abs. Quarter turn to the right. Face the rear. You got. I have all to the spray if you want. Oh, you got to spray, yeah. Go. Yeah. Quarter turn to the right. Abs. <laughs> nice. And front pose. The final glaze before they step on stage, just to get the extra shine. These stuff, out of control, don't stress. Okay. Focus, relax. Four, perfect. Five, six, come on. Seven, up, then, good. Eight, two, one, let's go. Yes, that is, that is beautiful. Nice, good. Other side, nice. Peak to perfection, nice. There, there, good. Go, yeah, good. For the turn, nice. And front pose, nice. Yeah, nice, good. Other end, yeah. Getting too wide, can't fit in this. Speed up the abs. There you go, two more. Nine. Good, one more, ten. And do that, get all the obliques, everything else. <laughs> Perfect, relax. Awesome. Oh yes, beautiful. Open, beautiful, beautiful. Separation between the biceps is just crazy. Just remember why we're here. For sure, we do our best. Kyle, remember two years ago, Let's finish what we started, come on. Right hand, there you go. <laughs> Abs, there, perfect. Yes, nice. This is muscle memory now, we've done this a million times, so enjoy the moment. Carl's success stems from his consistency. Working with him since September 2021 has allowed me to really understand his physique and understand his body. He, you know, managed to get into very, very good condition because he spent a year in an off-season gaining phase, eating loads of food and, you know, with a great starting point, allowing him to spend weeks in a slight deficit where we did, you know, Monday to Fridays, low days, weekend high days. And from there, we were allowed him to enjoy high carbs during the weekends, but deplete during the weekdays. And his conditioning and his physique comes down to how dedicated he has been over the last two years. And I'm so excited to see where he's going to be in 2025 for his pro debut. Yuan has, you know, is only 21 years old and he's been training consistently for one year. The fact that he knew that this was the best he can do, we decided to go for a beach body category where they look at you know, a physique that's slightly less conditioned, some slightly more aesthetic for the beach. And the fact that he managed to send his posing routine almost daily, couple of times a week from around six, seven weeks out has allowed him to bring the stage confidence and the stage presence that was needed to win that first place. So I'm very proud with what he has brought to stage. Here backstage with the Beachbody Fitness mod Model Amateur Champion. How do you boys feel? Let's start with Kyle first. Good man, just this is unexpected to be honest. I didn't realize where I'd place in this one, but really over the moon and happy. Yeah, <laughs> and the prep was all worth it. All worth it, all yeah. worth it in the end. 
Johan, how do you feel? I'm ecstatic. I'm shocked and damn, I'm, I'm happy. <laughs> Let's go. All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching this YouTube video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I look forward to seeing you at the next video very, very soon.